please don't make me not like this. Don't make me push you one. Saucy taste. Come by. And do people in Taiwan say Lai Mai? Lai Mai. No one says that. No one says that. No one. I'm too stuffed with bubble tea already. I think this is gonna be a challenge for me. Today I'm with my Pong Yao. Yeah, and actually I didn't know my Pong Yao, my bro here, is actually also very famous in Taiwan. Oh, you're famous. Yo, you're, you're very famous. Yeah. But do you know what we're gonna do today? Yes, we have a mission here. What is the mission? We're gonna have to take a picture of the Pong Yao and then we're gonna have a dance with them. Right, right. Because I've been like craving bubble tea. I really wanted to go around and taste the 10 most high rated bubble tea here in Taipei. Boba, now Nai Cha. So that's the mission for today. So we're gonna go on a boba tea adventure. So let's go. We are going to the first stores because I'm basically the like bubble tea mentor in Taiwan for you. So right. You just check it out. Yeah, you just said you really, really like bubble tea. Yeah, it was all my life about bubble tea. Really? Yeah, oh my so god. Shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm really lucky. But where are we going first? So, the first one is famous in Taiwan recently. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. I think I was at this shop last time I was in Taiwan with Ian and Eric. It kind of like feels similar in kind of way, but I have no idea. But I want to taste this boba. Nai cha. It's just the like classic one, so I'm really excited to taste that. What's the feeling? What's the first thing? So good. Like, oh my god. Really? Yeah, I really like it. It's fantastic. It's better than I remember it, to be honest. It has the good enough amount of sugar in it, so it's like, it's perfect. We're gonna go to the next door. So I can't drink too much bubble tea now because we still have nine left. Let's go. Actually, there's like a bubble tea shop like right here next to the other one. Yeah, we're gonna taste that. Have you also been there before? Yeah. Then you've been like everywhere. You taste like every bubble tea. Yeah, but it's different. Okay. Depending on your mood. Depending on my mood? Yes. What? That's interesting. You yeah. have to tell me more about that later. But let's try one here. Yao, uh, Wu Xiang Mai, Chen Tu Nai Cha. Chen Tu Nai Cha. Si, si, yeah. What? Nice or medium? Uh, natural. I, I said sugar. Uh, 10%. 10%. No ice. No ice. Alright. Shi shi. Go. I got that. Chu dan boba nai cha. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Oh my god, the bubbles is like warm. I got that in Berlin. That was like so good. I didn't think that it was like normal to get like warm bubbles and like bubbles it gives like a uh, like a weird taste in a way but it's i think it's probably better than the normal bubbles Wushi one and how her super how how her all right we had our third stop and we bought some bubble tea at Macho Chi. It's like right outside of the uh, Taipei City Hall MRT. So I have crazy high expectations for this one. Please don't make me not like this. Don't make me push you one. Okay, we're gonna no, try no, it. No, 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 no. Hmm. Mm. Sussy taste. It tastes like there's like <laughs> fruit in here. Fruit? Fruit, yeah, maybe. Fruit. Mm. Mm. I just can't like figure out like what the taste is. It doesn't like taste like the two other bubble teas that we just got. It tastes a bit different in a way. Like there's some like extra ingredient in there and I have no idea what the hell it is right now. So <laughs> maybe you know. I never tried this Magu Cha It's new? The milk tea is different, right? Right. You like it? Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe it's soy bean milk. No, it's regular. Oh, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Taipei Milk King, that sounds... The old classic. I, I should be the Milk King in Taipei because I drink so much like yeah, you and I. Yeah, so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But let's go in there. No, I don't think they have bubbles. Wait, they don't have bubble tea? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Shanghai, uh, Sensu Nai Chang. 
Sure, sure. I just saw like the shop is called Come By. And do people in Taiwan say Lai Mai? Lai Mai. Uh, Lai Mai. No one says that. No one says that. No one. But we got the bubble tea now and it has a bit more like sweets in it. It has like 30%. So we, we needed to get some sweets. It's a bit like too cheery. Oh, really? Yeah, I think like I have to chew too much here oh, oh, compared yeah. to the other ones. Oh my god, I mean, to be honest, I'm too <laughs> stuffed with bubble tea already. I feel bad in a way because I've just consumed like so much sugar in like these past five minutes. So I'm like, my stomach aches <laughs> for something healthy. But we still got six more shops left. So um, <laughs> I think this is gonna be a, a challenge for me. I thought that I was like used to tolerate a lot of sugar because I sometimes eat a lot of like donuts and cinnamon rolls but the sugar from the bubble tea, the tang from the boba nai cha just kills me like oh my god I just feel like an old man right now yeah I just want to go home and like sleep already yeah, yeah. yeah but I can't sleep yet because we're still on a mission we're in sugar high right now <laughs> yeah we're sugar high, we're sugar high. <laughs> finally found a place to sit after we bought the uh, John bubble tea and honestly like the vibe there was a lot different than like other bubble tea shops the other bubble tea shops I've been at was just like pretty normal but John's bubble tea shop almost made me feel like a royal like oh my god I'm, I'm the king and I'm gonna buy some, some bubble tea from John's bubble tea company it's a royal like no I feel that this should be a good bubble tea like a royal English bubble tea and they were always Ah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh. Mm. What? Mm. Do you have any issue with this? They should be the like top three. Should in my opinion. Oh, I think it's it's decent. What does decent mean? I don't know. I I just decent milk tea. Yeah, I think it's decent. Like I need some more like new knife. Yeah, like tea-wise, it tastes like really good, but I thought that it would be like a bit more like new night in there, but it's still like a really good one. You have to taste it now and... Yeah. Yeah. You look thirsty for some bubble tea. But actually, the first bubble tea that I got here for the second time in Taiwan was actually at World Gym because I met two cool workers there and they actually bought me a 50 called 50 Lan or 50 Yan. 50 Alashi 50, 50 Alashi So I have tried one of their bubble teas I don't know if it's the bubble tea that we're gonna try today so Yeah, I'm really excited to taste one here again So uh, let's go over there mm. That's good Pen Taoheng I just feel like <laughs> so goes out now Because this is like the what, sixth or fifth bubble tea in a row And I literally just can't consume like more bubble tea but yeah of course i still have to get through the mission i have to you know be like james bond i have to do my mission no matter what so we got still got some bubble tea left and honestly i think that i'm gonna be really relieved when i'm done tasting 10 bubble teas in a day <laughs> i really like to drink it but this is just like too much for anyone i think no guys we're gonna go to the next one now to so see you Oh hey, I didn't see you there, but actually this is our seventh bubble tea and it's from Daming. I have like no idea what you bought me, but it's called like avocado milk foam. Kind of interesting. Oh man, it's it's hard to keep going. My reaction like in the start was just like, okay, I just have to keep going, keep drinking. When I go to my like first bubble tea place, I'm like total like down. Now when I hear like there's avocado in this bubble tea, I just being like oh my god i'm so healthy now they really have avocado in this oh, okay that's right <laughs> i don't taste any avocado no <laughs> but it's pretty good it's a bit too sweet for me though i would much rather have something that's not like as sweet as this but this is like around 30 percent and i would like some more like tea taste but besides that it's pretty good Cleaning up the bubble tea. But I don't think it's appropriate on the screen. 
almost our last bubble tea. I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. I don't know why. I feel like I probably have some bubble tea overdrive in my system now. Carbohydrate, sugar, tank overdrive. I have no idea, but I feel good now. So let's taste this one from Tin Fens Tea. It's pretty good. Yeah. Probably just Hin Hao, but I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think the, the sugar amount in this is suitable for me. Good stuff, good stuff. I feel like I can do like 20 bubble teas now. Like, really? it's gotta be easy. Like, Why? we can go like all night for bubble teas. Like, clubbing and then going out, getting some bubble tea. Yeah, yeah like, it's gotta be awesome. No, I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> just joking. But let's try this. Mmm. Yeah, like you said to me, there's like a bit more like cha taste. Yeah, like also the combination here with like tang, pho, cha is like good. I would probably rate this top three of all of the bubble teas that I've tasted today. Really? Yeah, really. I am sure. Because I don't know, I just feel it in my heart. Your heart? I, yeah, I feel it in my heart that this is one of the right bubble teas for me. But yeah, honestly, I think I think this is a really good bubble tea. Quite expensive, it was 85 uh, Taiwanese dollars, but honestly, it's good. Super hen hao he. Yeah, chao chi hen hao he. And now we are gonna go to the last stop. That's the like, most famous bubble tea place here in Taiwan. Yeah. Let's go and get it. Yo, I just bought the most popular uh, bubble tea ever, and it's from Shun. Sui Tang, and I'm really excited to taste this. Let's go. There's also like pretty strong like tea in here, but it tastes pretty good, I'd say. It's not like as sugary as the other ones, but I think like this bubble tea has like a good amount of everything in it, just like perfect in a way. I would say like this is probably my number one, but yeah, I think this is really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, finally, all right, all right. we're gonna do like a top five because there are just like too many bubble teas on yeah. this list. So let's start from top five, like number five. Which one do you think is there? Probably the Guiji. Oh, the Guiji. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the uh, Kepu. Okay. It's, really? Yeah, it's top five. I feel like it's pretty nostalgic from the last time I was here with the Duderman. I think it was my first bubble tea ever. <gasps> memory there. Yeah, there was some memories there. But it's also pretty good, so I would rate it top five. What is your top four? My top four is Koboko. It's yours. Ah, five. I would say like my top four is the uh, 50 Lan. It's in general like cheaper than the other like yes, good ones yes. and I think it's general like pretty pretty good. I like the bowls there and I also really like the combination of the tea and sugar there. So how about the chewing? The chewing was like fine there I think. It wasn't like that chewy compared to one of the others that I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. The top three. What do you think? I really like the... I was have it only milk tea so maybe I'll go with John. John's. Damn. So my top three is the uh don't 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 uh, I'm literally tweaking now, but my top tweaking, oh, like tweaking. but my top three is the Gucci. Oh, Gucci. oh that's yeah. my five. Why? The, the Gucci. Um, <laughs> I don't like the tea. I like the Gucci. You are not the tea person, but you are okay with Gucci. Yeah. I, I like the um, it's not like too yeah. like sweet and it's not like too tea. No lie, the tea was good. It was Hen Hao He. Hen Hao He. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about your top two? Top two? Top The second one would be the Tian Ren Ming Cha. Ah, really? Why not? It's too, too much tea for me. What? Oh my god. It's my... just milk tea. I, I think my. Maybe like I'm just weird and maybe like I'm just oh, rate, rating like yeah. wrong or maybe it's just because like I've consumed too much bubble tea today yeah. so I can't think straight. Yeah. I've maybe you it's try that. another day. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Uh my top two is the Shun Shui Tang. <gasps> yeah. Really? It was hard for me to like rate it if it should be like top two or top one. Yeah. It should be the second or yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I really like the tea. I think it has like the 
hers be like best like combination of tea, yeah, tang true. and bubble it's... tea. I was a bit like confused about like why the bubbles were so small compared to the other oh, ones. You like the big one? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, I think there's there Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. What about your it's number there. one? Can you guess which one is my number one? The two dan. Yeah. Two dan. Zhen du dan. Why? Zhen du dan. Because sometimes even though I didn't have time to have breakfast, I will order one. Ah, I see. Something I see. To eat and chewing. Right. I think it's made my day. Yeah. And because the boba is hot. Yeah. Right. So combined with the cold milk. Right. So I think it's really nice. Yeah. So you feel like pretty good when you're drinking. So it's the, your first one. Yeah, I would also say that my number one is the. Ten to dan. 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 Wait. Ten to dan. Ten to dan. Ten to dan. Okay, pretty good. But yeah, I would rate it my number one because I also like really like the combination of the, uh, the just like everything was really really good, and also just like the vibe of the place was. Really? Yeah, I think it was like a pretty like chill place. Like everything was just so clean, so nice, and yeah, I just like really liked the vibe there. I didn't like feel like a a royal coming in to get like <laughs> some tea. Nah, I'm kidding, but like yeah, I think it's also my number one. It's it's good, and for it's like a good bubble tea for a cheap price. Yeah. Like compared to some of the other ones, uh, because we paid sixty Taiwanese dollars for a large bubble tea. Yes. Yeah. Satisfied with the price. Yeah, really. I think that's like the overall good bubble tea. Can you feel actually there's maybe probably the different uh, staff, their different attitude in the different store? Ooh, Did you tell? Yeah, like some places I could like some were a bit more like I wouldn't say like negative, but like more like more busy. Yeah, more busy, right? Yeah. And some of the other places were a little more like chill. You can just uh, come and get a bubble tea, and yeah, yeah. you don't really like have to wait in a long time. So that's also like a really nice, nice thing that I liked about Chu Dan. The feeling when you speak in Chinese to order the drinks. Can oh you tell yeah. There's different yeah, like or different vibe of the staff. They're welcoming you, right. or just are you? So, about it. so like in general, I could feel that I was like welcomed like at most places But there were like some places where I just think they thought like Why is that white guy talking oh. bad, shitty Mandarin? I think most of the stores had really professional service Really good, really kind And they only like ask, like most times they only like ask me in Mandarin yeah. If I want like how, how much ice and how much no, like sugar I want yeah, Right and like for me that don't really understand Mandarin good enough, I can't really, you know, answer that question. So I have to like, you know, answer in English. They understand it, but they also like reply in Mandarin back. So I think that's something that's pretty difficult for me, but I kind of gives me like a learning opportunity. But for new tourists, I would say that maybe like a, a bit more English should be uh, used at the uh, bubble tea shop. <laughs> I think they try their best. Right, yes. right, right, yeah. right. I think it has been a really, really fun day because I don't think that I could have done this alone. So yeah. I'm really thankful that you helped me and on this trip. you're crazy if you, you didn't think that it's hard or <laughs> you, have, you have to find a store. Right. Honestly, like I probably need some more knowledge about like bubble tea. You're a professional now. Honestly, like guys, you can just like get me as a mentor now because I'm a bubble tea specialist now yes. because of her. Oh, so uh, so thank you. It's my honor. So what kind of food you want to try next? Probably the next one. I would probably like to also do like a top 10, top oh. 5 foods in Taipei. And I would also like to do like a night market run where oh, I'm going to like choose like maybe 5 or 10 products or yeah, you know, Good goods luck. there. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like I need to learn some more Mandarin before I go to the night markets. I feel it's gonna be it's more fun. fun. Yeah. It's gonna be more fun for me to order in Mandarin and talk Mandarin yeah. with all of you when I, you know, go to the night markets. But yeah, I think it's uh, it has been a good day and yes. I just need to, you know, recycle everything now and then I'm probably just gonna conquer my bed and go to sleep. Ooh.
Honestly, like, I feel that I should probably, like, buy my own, like, bubble tea cup next time because then I don't have to, like, walk around with 10 different, like, plastic bubble tea products. And that's, you know, bad for the environment. And I've heard, like, especially in Taiwan, people really focus on keeping everything clean, not using, like, any plastic and so on. So I'm also, I'm gonna buy my own, like, straw, which is, like, non-plastic. It has been this video for today, guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. It has been quite fun today. I really enjoyed like filming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. It's all it's all clean. Good. Good. Good.